Hey everybody, it's here from thegimmeyak.com. Here we are today back in the Nicolas Cage DLC for Dead by Daylight, going for the Adept Cage Achievement. This one's going to be done from the Survivor side. It is going to require that you own the DLC's character in the form of Nicolas Cage, so make sure you grab him from either the DLC pack or from the in-game store. This achievement, of course, is to escape a game only using his three unique perks. You are going to need to get him to a minimum of level 10 to open up three free perk slots before doing this. The perks that you want to run and only run are going to be Dramaturgy, then you're going to want Scene Partner, and then finally Plot Twist. Make sure you leave the fourth slot empty if you have that available to you, and you can do whatever you want for items, add-ons, or offerings. Once you set your loadout, make sure you get into the game, and then of course your goal is to escape using this build. Unfortunately for you, this build isn't going to be super useful, as most of the perks are going to be more detrimental than they are helpful, so just make sure you fall back on your good old Dead by Daylight fundamentals and get to fixing those generators. Hopefully you roll a pretty good team who can help you out as well, but you are definitely going to need to rely on more things besides your perks for this one. So in terms of the way the perks work, first one is going to be Dramaturgy, which you can activate pretty much whenever it's available. You're going to hit the A button, and what's going to happen is you're going to get a random effect. Now, this effect can be something as innocuous as nothing at all. It can be something that can be pretty helpful, like putting the haste status condition on you or giving you a super useful item. However, most of the time it's going to be something detrimental, such as you screaming or getting a nasty status condition put on you, such as expose. Just make sure you are very careful with it and try not to use it during killer engagements and make sure you use it whenever you are away from the killer. That way, if you do get a nasty status condition on you, it's not going to set you back too far. Perk number two is going to be something called Scene Partner. This one also isn't going to be terribly useful. The way this is going to work is whenever you are within the killer's terror radius, you are going to be able to read their aura. However, this is going to come at the cost of your character screaming. So pretty much you should be able to see where the killer is, but you are going to have them see where you are. So it's going to be a trade-off that doesn't really benefit you in any way. As for the last perk, it's going to be something called Plot Twist. This one can be useful. However, it can be a little tricky to get the most out of it. You can use it whenever you are injured. What you can do is you can crouch, and if you're not moving, you can hit the X button to down yourself. That should put you into the dying state. However, if you put yourself in the dying state through this perk, what you can do is once you are able to recover, you can pick yourself up back to full health. So to get the most out of it, what you can do is after the killer injures you or you come off the hook, you can go run off to a corner somewhere, and if you can happen to get away from the killer, you can use the perk by crouching and then hitting X to down yourself, and then while you're down, after you recover, you should be able to pick yourself back up to full health. So pretty much it's going to be a free healing without a health kit. So make sure you do take advantage of that if the situation presents itself. However, more likely than not, while you are in the midst of a chase, the killer is probably going to pursue you to the point where they're going to down you anyways. The second downside to the perk, unfortunately, is going to be you can only use it twice per game. You can only use it once before the exit gates are powered and then once after. So after you use it, you're going to exhaust it for pretty much the rest of the game. So again, try to stick to your Dead by Daylight fundamentals or fall back on your handy dandy teammates. And then hopefully you should be able to manage an escape. The escape can come from either method. You can either escape through one of the two exit gates or you can escape through the hatch if the situation presents itself. If you are going to actually use the perks in a game, hopefully you are able to have the best of luck. If not, hopefully you can manage to escape. Nonetheless, getting to the result screen with that escape status using this build should result in the achievement shortly thereafter. So here we are making our grand escape, and there's going to be the achievement. It's going to be for 20 gamer score, and that's all there is to it.